Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for watching. It's a beautiful 50 degree day in the middle of January and we're heading to Mark Twain Lake as you can see right there and uh, we got another two and a half hours. We're going to see if we can put some slabs in the boat. Well I met a nice gentleman from uh, Iowa. He's up here enjoying the uh, crappie fishing here at Mark Twain Lake. There's his boat right there. He's up parking his truck so Thanks for watching. He's a subscriber and he watches the video. So thank you for watching and uh, good luck today to you. We'll see you guys out on the water. Well, we're here at the old uh, faithful spot. I haven't fished this spot in a month and a half. Last time I was here, they just didn't want to bite. There's some fish here, but they just didn't want to eat. We're going to go into the wind here. We've got a pretty much a west wind, and I don't know how long we're going to stay here. We might go back up in there and get up in that along them trees there and scan it and see what we can find. But there should be some fish on this little group of trees right here. So we'll just go see what's what's up and uh, see if they want to play today. I'm not seeing too many fish. Nice crappie. That crappie came up off that limb and followed it up. I just kept moving it up and he bit it pretty good. And uh, got him in the boat. There's a tree out here and it's got just got a bunch of crappie on it. But you can't see unless you got live scope or side scan it or something. But uh, He bit it. Decent eater right there. Looks like this school wants to wants to eat. I think what I want to do guys is go to a spinning reel. Because man, it's just tough when it's there. You know, when they're close to 20 foot, I think I can get them back up here a little easier with this spinning reel. So, uh, Boom, right there. Decent crappie. I switched that blue and chartreuse. That's what the first two wanted. They didn't want that electric chicken. We'll just stick the blue chartreuse. Let's go back down to them, see what's up. Here they are.
drop down drop down to them see if one wants to bite see if we can get this kind of there's one right there got it let's see that he come right to it nice crappie other nice little leader crappie Get us another mess today. That's kind of fun. Hope you guys like that little angle there. My deal that I bought to put my GoPro on here is not long enough. I've got a got another one ordered. Just ain't got here yet, but we're just gonna make do. There's four of this tree so far. I think we can get, we might even get a nice little limit of eaters on it if we play our cards right. You know, they're kind of being aggressive today. They're just, they're eating. Changed spots. We caught four at the other spot. They quit, shut down. We're going to head back to a bank that I fished uh, last week and uh, see if we can get some more to bite. So stay with us. Nice crappie right there. A nice little leader. Let that sit for a minute. goes little pile right here is what we're looking at and then that one I didn't even feel him bite I just was letting it sit amongst all of them lifted up and it was tight so he just kind of sucked it in they're between 22 and 25 foot deep so I'm going to this spinning reel Well, as you've seen, there was not much going on after we caught them four right off the bat and caught that one at the second spot. Now we're at the third spot. And, you know, they just didn't want to play tonight, so we only got five. But I switched it up to this uh, spinning reel because they were 20, 25 foot deep. And it's a lot easier to drop it down with a spinning reel and reel back up than use that uh, uh, B&M Bano reel. So anything, you know, around 20, 25 foot, I'm going to go to a spinning reel. And uh, I was pretty much just using the same 20-pound uh, test. Uh, this is some uh, Bass Pro Shops Hyper Braid, high-vis yellow 20-pound I put on this reel. And the old Thumper Pillhead chartreuse color and the old Muddy Water 2-inch blue and chartreuse. And the reels, a uh, Ardent Finesse 2000 reel from Ardent. So check them out if you're looking for a good crop your spinning reel and uh, just an old Ozark rod I got little Tony Edgar I've had for years probably since 2010 or so so I've had him had this thing 10 years great rod so anyway that's what pretty much I was using tonight you know I caught the first couple on that uh, Kevin Rogers 10 foot jigging rod with that little Bano reel but man I was down there so deep as you've seen on the first one it was tough to get him you know I couldn't it's tough to pull all that line up and you know get the fish in the boat. I got him in the boat, but but it was just tough to have all that line out. So I just switched the spinning reel. So anyway, that's all I got tonight. Uh, thanks for joining me. So I apologize for the lack of fish catches, but that's the way it goes. But we got five in the box. I'll go flay them up, 
and uh, I'm going to try to cook them in the air fryer I got and see if it turns out okay. So I'll, I'll let you guys know how it turned out. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on Strike 3 Fishing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Later.